when building up the courage to eat the craziest things around, company can make all the difference. So I'm here in Brooklyn meeting up with Stephen Page, the illegal eater. I'm the illegal eater. And we're about to take down a bizarre feat. My name is Stephen Page. I'm the host of a TV show called The Illegal Eater, also known as a musician, was the lead singer of Barry Naked Ladies for over 20 years, and a huge fan of food. And today, Stephen's taking me to Studio Feast, run by Mike Lee. It's a great underground supper club. We came across it when we were shooting The Illegal Eater. We had a great time. I'm really excited to be back in his kitchen. The beauty of Studio Feast is that we're not really beholden to any sort of template, so each event is kind of its own different thing. I'm actually anxious. I can't wait to get in the kitchen and see what we're actually you're going to cook. And with that, let's get weird. First course is something called angulas. They are baby eels. They're Spanish baby eels. And then we're going to do them in a Sichuan style. So uh, I need garlic, scallions, chopped up. Baby, just yeah, let's go back at the baby yeah. eels there. What do those look like? <laughs> baby eels. This is what the baby eels look like. Oh, they look like little These noodles. Are little noodles, exactly. Do you guys want to try one? Yeah, I may as well. Do you just swallow them or you chew them? You can chew them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, They're fine. like worms. Don't think of them as worms. Think of them as little olive oil covered noodles. Absolutely. With mm -hmm. a bit of an anchovy taste. Oh yeah. So while these eels may look like noodles, they certainly don't taste like them. We're gonna saute them with garlic and scallions, and then we're gonna do a little crispy pork on top. So while Steven and I make ourselves useful, Mike gets some pork sausage cooking on the stove, and then the baby eels take center stage. Some baby eels here. Actually not even born yet. Embryonic eels. So I'm gonna kill the heat because we're gonna let these hang out for a second uh, while we kind of do the rest of this stuff. Great. Okay. What's next? Organs? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like a good yeah. piece of organ now and again. I've tried liver, that's about it. Yeah, liver is, a, is a, an intense way to start. Mm -hmm. Like it, it okay. can be pretty strong and not all organs are, are that organy. All right, so speaking of organs, this is our main course. There's a whole veal heart. That's a heart. That's gigantic. That's a whole heart. Look, you can see the valves and it takes you back to science class, right? Right. Yeah. We're actually going to use a technique called sous vide, which is vacuum sealing something to a bag, and then we're going to cook it in a temperature controlled water bath for 24 hours. So after soaking our heart in a brining liquid, we place it in our sous vide bag. Go with this end in first. The little small yeah. end? Okay. Yeah. Get it in there. That should be jiggly, but it's hard. There, there you go. <laughs> Teamwork. Okay, so seal that up and then head on over to the immersion circulator. This basically maintains that temperature. The temperature of the heart is never gonna get past that. Exactly. Slide that guy in there, and then we're gonna let that cook for a whole day. But thanks to some TV magic, our veal heart is ready to be carved. I'm just gonna kinda cut away some of this fat so you can kinda oh, see that. It looks good though. It looks really nice, right? We'll get yeah. a little preview. Uh, I feel Aww, like I need ready? sauce. Try it alone first, and then you can see. Ready? Okay. Right in there. Not bad, huh? It's really beefy. Nobody ever sent anything back because it was too beefy. So after prepping up a few side dishes with more guests arriving, it's time to dine. When I tried the eel, it tasted a little bit like anchovies. It's kind of an acquired taste. I'm not a huge fan of the heart. And I'm not a huge beef kind of girl. The meal was delicious. In fact, I uh, took another heart that I'm just going to put in my pocket and take with me. Just snack on the plane on the way home. But no bizarre meal is quite complete without a completely unique dessert. Bug cookies, anyone? Made from a high protein cricket flour, as in flour and ground up crickets, our dough is rolled out, garnished with a whole cricket, and set to bake. Just like mom used to make. Mmm. I'm going to go with this one. Awesome. I got this Thank one. Thank you. Adrena, I know she chose the smallest. Uh, what is that? <laughs> It's not bad at all, it's really good. It reminds me of almond. Would you believe it was made of crickets? No, I wouldn't. No idea, it's really good. Are you eating around the crickets? You notice? <laughs> yeah, I'm eating around it first. Aww, I'm eating around like, it first. Okay, here it goes. Now that I'm put on the spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. You like? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Popped in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you got a juicy one. I think that's what makes for interesting people, is if you're willing to try anything. And that's a feast I won't soon forget. <laughs>